Hey, it's Joe here. Today I'm going to talk about fuses, particularly these uh, 10 by 38 millimeter, uh, also known as midget fuses. Sorry that offends you, but that's just what they're called. All right, so these midget fuses are pretty common for industrial applications, particularly with DIN rail mounted fuse, uh, fuse holders. So I used some of these for my CNC router project, and I thought I'd get a variety of them and use them for other applications since they're pretty common. So me being me, uh, uh, I like to consider myself resourceful. Other people call me cheap, and I try to find the cheapest fuses uh, that I could that I thought looked like they would be the right thing you know ceramic fuses with um, you know current limiting capacity of 50,000 uh yeah 50,000 amps 500 volt you know they seem legit right well i get them and probably one of the first things that kind of uh, caught my eye was the fact that this was how one of them came shipped to me and another one uh well i had a whole bag of my ordered us an assortment of them from various auctions and the guy put them you know the five different of uh, ten fuses all in one big bag and one of them came shattered and that's when I started looking hmm I've never seen copper wire used in a fuse before and I started looking at it and thinking I'm thinking you know I'm not gonna trust my equipment with fuses that might work so I decided that hey how about I take this you know I got like about what Eight different sizes you know three amp two amp one amp all the way up to 32 amp i figured you know what let's just see you know what they're actually supposed to you know go at they're actually supposed to be you know fast blow fuses which means that they are supposed to blow uh, almost immediately after an overcurrent condition so a one amp fuse should blow right at one amp and with a fast blow fuse it should blow within milliseconds of exceeding that current limit so what we should see is that if this thing actually worked we should actually see it blow immediately after we pass one amp. So let's see if we do. So I'm gonna go for our first test for the one amp fuse. All right, cranked it up, and I'm at 2.64 amps. Huh, that's odd. I could have sworn it said one amp. They're holding strong, let's we'll see if you bump up a little more. Ah, uh, just to try to do the past 18 amps of blue. I was really hoping it could do more. Actually, not really at all. It's actually quite scary. In fact, this is kind of how fires start. And especially for a one amp fuse, I mean, what else was supposed to be protecting? It'd be long gone, on fire, smoking, who knows? But that fuse did not do its job. So, let's just see if that wasn't a fluke thing. Let's try this again. Twenty. Twenty. Got the twenty. Twenty times its current uh, limiting specification. So yeah, it's not a fluke thing. These are, quite honest, counterfeit. Probably the only thing authentic on these things is probably the uh, ceramic tube that they're in. Uh, even these caps really aren't the correct size. They're supposed to be. Uh, Actually, they were supposed to be a little bit deeper. So even those are probably counterfeit. And the way that they did this was completely scary. They literally just crimped the wire. You can clearly see the wire on most of these things. They're just hanging out the end. Or you can just tell that they just, just probably had a machine where they just drew a piece of uh, copper wire or a chink in a press. This is scary. It's scary because Many people would probably buy these thinking they're buying the correct thing and they're putting in their equipment. And what happens whenever somebody, you know, whenever a house burns down or a business burns down, because these are usually for industrial type stuff. So that's what's scary. So I hope this gave you a little bit of enlightenment on 
not trust cheap Chinese fuses. They're cheap for a reason. So here's one of those things where the whole idea of a fuse is not something that's an inconvenience. It's not there to make fuse makers money. It's there to protect you and the equipment. So don't cheap out on fuses. Get a bus man, get a name brand. Just these, the only good use for these is filling up trash cans. <sighs> Every one of those actually went in. That was pretty awesome. So anyways, I hope this helps you out and hopefully uh, this will get out and we can keep these fuses from entering the United States or really any there, anywhere for that matter. So hope you enjoyed and stay safe.